Hi, this is Paul Solt from Brew Coffee. I'm gonna show you how to make the perfect cup of Chemex or Hario coffee. Right now, we're gonna start with the Brew Coffee app. This is an intelligent coffee brewing app that will show you how to make a Hario V60. Let's jump right in and learn how you can make a sweeter cup of coffee today. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using this app called Brew Coffee to brew it. It will do all the math calculations so that you get the right amount of water and the right amount of coffee. So we're going to do 21 grams of coffee. This tells me how many grams of water. I've heated up a whole liter of water here that's in my Hario drip kettle. This is a gooseneck kettle, which gives me a nice pour rate. We've got the Hario carafe right here. And I've got a little thing to hold on to all the coffee as we brew. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is get our coffee grinding. I've got Joe Bean Coffee Roasters. That's this bag here. I'm going to show you something that's a little unconventional, something you've probably never seen before. What we're going to do is we're going to open up this bag very carefully. I really don't want to introduce air into this. And then I'm going to take my top of my brew, sorry, the top of my virtuoso grinder and we're going to scoop out our grinds. Now, it's really important that you don't introduce oxygen into this bag of grinds. So we've got our scale here to measure accurately. We want 21 grams, so it's a little over a scoop. And as you do this, you might have to adjust it slightly. All right, so it looks pretty good. So we've got our coffee. Now I'm gonna squeeze from the bottom. I don't want to reintroduce oxygen into here and we're gonna tighten this up. The next thing I'm gonna do is I have a can of wine preserver and this is really good because this is inert gas which is going to allow us to flush the bag. So I give it two to, to five squirts to really flush the bag. You'll also smell a lot of the aroma as you do this. If you do this technique, it will keep your coffee fresher than if you put it in the freezer or anything like that. Oxygen is the enemy for a fresh smelling bag of coffee. So I'm just gonna tightly seal this now that we've filled it and we're gonna slide that right over there. All right, so now that that's set, we can go ahead and grind. Now this is a virtuoso and as you pick a grind size, we're going for something that's gonna be a medium fine grind and this you might have to adjust. So there's a lot of adjustments on the Virtuoso. I've set it up. We're going to turn it on. And as that's going, we can get our carafe set up. So we need a little more time. And you can do the button on the front to make sure it's all done. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our filter. We're going to crease it where we have our stitching here and then we're going to open this up and plop it right in. Now that I have my water hot we can go ahead the the next thing we need to do is really just heat up our carafe, heat up the Hario vessel and then just get some of the paper taste out. Now if you want to know what I'm talking about with the paper taste just taste the water that is going to come out of this and you'll know what to look for. Uh, most people can't detect the paste the paper taste if they just taste the coffee. So if you want to see what it tastes like, taste this water. All right, so now that we've got our cup warmed up, we've got our carafe warmed up, we've got our coffee, so we'll, let's grab that. And so this is going to be a, a medium fine grind. All right, now what I like to do is just sort of even out the grinds here, and we're ready to use the app. So I'm gonna zero out our scale. We're on grams right now. We're on grams over here, and we've got water that's around 200 degrees Fahrenheit. With that, we just hit start, and we're gonna pour our initial bloom. This is gonna be double the weight of the coffee. So we have 21 grams of coffee. This will be 42-ish grams. It's okay if you don't quite hit the mark. You just be, want to be around that. All right, so this is going to go for 30 seconds. And then we're going to start our pour. So what's nice about the Brew Coffee app is that it gives me a rate to go on and I also don't want to get water into my scale, so let's clean that off. And this will give you a nice rate to pour at so that you can finish in the right time. Now the timing for this is a 30 second bloom, 
a two minute 30 second pour and then we're going to have around 30 seconds to drain down. So the whole point of brew coffee is a way of making sure that you're pouring at the right speed and that you're doing it gently. So we want to keep our our gooseneck kettle low. We want to pour slowly. We don't want to just gush water out. That's why you don't want to use a Pyrex because you have no control over the flow. And we're just going to do that. All right, so we're at a minute and 30 seconds right now with the app, and we're just trying to, to keep this nice and consistent. Now, what we're doing is we're extracting coffee. There's soluble, water-soluble particles in the coffee beans that we can extract, and that's what gives you a good cup of coffee. Now, it's important to get the right amount out, otherwise you're going to have a watery or sour taste, or if you go too long, you are going to have a bitter and acidic. What we're really shooting for is in the middle of those two. And if we get the right timing, we can have a nice sweet cup of coffee. And that's what the Hario is really nice for. It creates an easy way to create a, a single serving cup of coffee. And it doesn't take too long. It does take a little bit of practice. And that's why I made this iPhone app, because it makes it super easy to get consistent results every time. We're almost at the end here, so I just need 357 grams, right around that. So now we're in the drain phase. This is where the water up here is going to drain down. Now, as you watch it, you're going to notice that it's no longer present up top, but it is still draining. And so right around now is where I will pick up the, the filter, and we should be pretty done here. So just take this, and you can compost this or you can throw it out depending on if you have compost or not. And I will dump my water cup, move this off to the side. And now we have a great cup of coffee and we can finish the app and we can enjoy our coffee. So that's how to brew coffee with the Hario V60. This is the single serving brew device. So this is great. Now, if you wanna make more coffee, you're going to want to use something like the Chemex, which is a very similar brew method, and it just has a much bigger carafe so that you can brew coffee for your entire family. All right, thanks for watching. That's how to brew with the Brew Coffee iPhone app. Enjoy.